Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Okay, so I'm about to redo this video again. Again. It's about to get re-uploaded again. YouTube, box community, I don't know which one who was, but y'all need to get life together because, um, what are you blocking my videos for? What are you blocking my videos for? Don't do that stuff no more. That's so disrespectful. That is so disrespectful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because no one got to watch it yesterday. You know why? You know why? Because it was blocked. What is wrong with you? Enjoy today's video. Until from the time, today is a very interesting and different video. Today we are going to do a reaction to the Isaac and Davis fight. This is a very interesting fight. If you didn't watch the fight, don't know about the fight, guess what? I'm about to let you know about it and do a reaction to it for you right now, today. Okay? So I'm going to need y'all to get ready. Sit back. Relax. And listen to me talk. Okay. So... I am a huge Tank Davis fan. That does not mean what I'm going to be saying is biased. Okay? Okay. I'm glad we got that out of the way right here, right now. So, in this fight, it was a... It was an interesting fight because no one thought the other person... Because... It was an interesting fight because... Obviously, everyone knew that Tank Davis was going to win. Period, point blank. Everybody knew that Tank Davis was going to win. Okay? Now, did they want him to win? Of course not. Of course not. Of course they didn't. They wanted Isaac Cruz to win. Right? But did that happen? No. So since that happened, and Tank still pulls off the fight without a knockout, as I may add, then of course no one liked the fight. Of course, everybody in their mama had something bad to say about Tang Davis after the fight. Which is like, why? If you watch the fight yourself, then we both know, we all know, Tang Davis won the fight. Just saying. Sure, Isaac Cruz won a few rounds. He won some rounds. But so did Tang Davis. Tang won more rounds than Isaac Cruz with a broken hand like there are so many so many things you have to counter in right if you watch any of any other isaac cruz fights then you'll be able to tell like he didn't have to work as hard in those fights than what he had to do with tank davis with tank he showed he showed he was top he, he showed he was top dog like he's one of the top dogs you know what i'm saying like he deserves to be up there with those fights now sure it was good to watch but like everyone knew the outcome everyone knew at the end of the day he was gonna lose did they want him to no were they gonna admit it no but is it the truth of course okay and what makes it even worse is that tank did come out with a knockout so who wants to blow up the fight talking about who should have won da, 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 da. didn't ask for all your extra input right so then after we read all the extra input and we see what everyone else had to say right and we look at what other people may have to say about the fight including tang davis's coach or what is it mentor whatever which is floyd mayweather another great fighter himself you see how everyone in a mama know the tank the tank the fight was an easy fight, right? The fight would have been even easier if Tank's hand would have been 100%, if I may add in myself. I mean, let's just think about it. Tank previously broke his left hand before the fight. He did cancel the fight, right? He was like, I got it. Went into the fight with a freshly, freshly healed hand. It's not a smart thing to do. I wouldn't do it. But you know, freshly healed hand. He went in, broke his hand again, mid-fight. Still fought the rest of the rounds with one hand, right? He may have threw it a couple of times, then after that, like, it was over. Let's also keep in mind, when he fell, he fell on his boxing gloves, right? That's a lot of weight on your hands. Am I right? 
or am I wrong? I'm right. Anyways, so after watching that and putting everything together, why wouldn't he have won? Cruz was putting in way more energy and effort into that fight than Tank was. Every chance he got, Cruz was or hugging or hugging hugging a lot holding his hands down a lot tank over here trying to get his arm out cruz just like what are you holding it for what are you holding it for what are you holding it for this is your fight right you know let's fight why are we holding why are we holding gloves why are we hugging so much fight right like he was super tired Tank was chilling. Tank was chilling. This was an easy fight for Tank, right? Enough talking. Let's just let's look at some of the footage. Tank sells at all times. This is my command. Touch him up. Okay, as you've seen from those few clips, you can see that Isaac is exploding there every chance that he gets, right? But then one punch, two punches from Tank, slows him down, backs him up, like, okay. Okay, those those punches kind of hurt. Those, those punches hurt me. Those, those punches hurt me, right? Which caused him to do a lot of hugging, which caused him to do a lot of holding, all that stuff but then also as you guys just heard within mid you even seen it right within the video he was fighting with one hand he was fighting with one hand he fought with one hand for practically the last couple of rounds of the fight and still came back with that w like stop playing still came back with that w the fight wasn't hard was he at a disadvantage sure for sure I mean, imagine fighting with one heel, with just one hand, and it's not even your strongest hand. Like, come on now. Sure, you got a disadvantage, but does that mean that the other, your opponent is going to beat you? No. The more work, the more effort, the more control you have over yourself, the more likely you are to win. Just because you win some rounds doesn't mean you're gonna win the fight, right? This fight was very much not a robbery at all. This fight was a Tank Davis fight. Stop playing. It was a Tank Davis fight, right? Fought with one hand, kept his stamina up for the fight, right? Like took all, took the body shots like a G. He was doing what he could do with one hand. Just because he didn't get a knockout doesn't mean that he's not a good fighter. It proved that he's an even better fighter, especially because he fought with one hand. Was he landing them though? No. Barely. Any. Within that whole little shot, he barely landed any. Hug. 
number one. Puck number one. Okay. We have hook number two. He was on the hook again. Like, honestly, 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 the fight was a good fight, but at the end of the day, I just feel like it was just Tank's fight from the beginning. Sure, Isaac Cruz threw some good stuff, but it wasn't enough to carry the fight. It wasn't enough to win the fight. It wasn't enough to dominate the fight. Cruz was putting in all the work. Tank was chilling. Simple as that. The fight was not robbed. The fight was not none of that. The right person won, period, point blank. That's all I have to say. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. Just something short and sweet, giving my opinion on the fight. If you have anything to say about it, let's little talk about it a little bit in the comments. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up because I really appreciate it. Vlogmas Day 6, we're, we're going good because I've never been so consistent with a video. I mean, with like a timeline. I'm not even consistent during February. It's, it's mine. Like what? Anyways. If you enjoyed, give me a big thumbs up. Like I said before, leave a comment down below. If you want to talk about it, smash that bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. Until Christmas, like, come on now. Subscribe, join the family, the more the merrier. We love you all. Hey, remember, happy holidays. And when you walk into the room, you put the cherry on top. Bye.